you talk later in the book about when you were about 13 or 14 years old, you slowly began to grow apart from God. And you write, it was simply a separation, no waving, no goodbyes. It was as if we were at the airport standing on one of those moving walkways. We were looking at each other and then we were carried off in opposite directions without a word. Part of the reason you say you grew apart from God was because God grew small. Uh, you talk about how I mean, the church in particular was guilty for this, but belief in God didn't ask for much. And in fact, people at church and good people in society didn't seem very different. Every, everyone was interested in sort of doing good, helping their neighbor, visiting the sick, working for peace. Um, there wasn't anything that really made the church that different than good people anywhere. So why do you think that human beings, um, why is it important for us not to have a small view of God? Or why do we need to see God as great? Do we need to see God as great? Or is a small view of God enough um, and then how does suffering play into this question of a big God versus a little God? To see God as great, you always have to accept that he is, he might be somehow the way you don't like him, you know? Like there's so many, as I just said, that <clears throat> there are stories in the Bible that I just don't like. And um and I think he's always different um, than you like. And if your understanding of God is, is, is little, then you make him small, you know? And if you're in, in favor of one certain thing about God like this or about Jesus, like, the, um, it's like a social idea or so on, it's nice, but it's only one thing that you are talking about. And um, so it's, yeah, that's why I think that's why many people, for many people, it's so difficult to believe in God. If you meet, if you talk to people who have a very narrow minded picture of him, then it's really boring. It's like as if he lives in a suburb with a small garden, a fence and a dog, you know, and prejudices and that's it. So yeah. then it's very, very narrow. And the suffering question is, I, um, I think I, I experienced both. I experienced that I um, that suffering brought me closer, but it, I also experienced that it brought me far away from him. 